starts at 10. Good evening. A prominent businessman in Greenville accused of using a date rape drug on a woman. Marcus McCall's out of jail tonight after the judge gave him a $50,000 bond. He's charged with criminal sexual conduct in the first degree. Deputies say he drugged a woman, then sexually assaulted her. Here's our Aaron Rodgers with more. A month long investigation led to this man, Marcus McCall, being behind bars. They learned that sometime between October the 8th and October the 11th, uh, Mr. McCall um, had, had been in contact with the victim. Deputies say it was then that McCall was found to have uh, drugged her um, with, uh, with a, a drug substance uh, commonly referred to as a date rape drug and then uh, engaged in, uh, in a sexual intercourse. In this warrant, it says McCall offered the victim wine. Then she started feeling disoriented, going in and out of consciousness, and woke up to find she had been sexually assaulted. Deputies tell us bringing charges in these cases isn't always easy, but they got the report in a decent amount of time. They can be difficult, uh, but at the same time, uh, we make certain that uh, as thorough as we possibly can. Through the investigation, deputies found out the two did know each other. About a month or so um, prior to the alleged incident taking place, um, they, they met each other and had some sort of um, relationship. McCall is a businessman in the community owning McCall Capital, which develops apartment complexes across the state and has around $150 million in assets. Whenever we receive a complaint on anyone, you know, we as law enforcement officers, we have to have a blind eye, and that's what we do. Um, you know, we can't look at anyone's profession or their socioeconomic status. We'll enforce the law accordingly, uh, regardless. In Greenville, Aaron Rodgers, 7 News. McCall is a member of the Greenville Chamber of Commerce, a former board member for Christ Church Episcopal School. We did reach out to the school who has no comment. We're waiting to hear back from the chamber. Nearly two.